Hi there, it's Katrin from 3Ps. Welcome to my office. This video is to explain the ethos in our new uh, weight loss books about breakfast. So what should you eat for breakfast? This is based on the books we've just produced with nutritionist Maya Lloyd. And those books are called Secrets and Recipes from a Weight Loss Clinic. So Secrets and Recipes from a Weight Loss Clinic. Um, and they are written by a nutritionist called Maya Lloyd, who has five clinics in London. She just does weight loss, nothing else. So we went to her. Um, because we wanted to produce some books that will help you if you're looking to lean up either for summer or because you just because you want to change the way you look and the way you feel about yourself. Um, to start with, just to talk about the ethos of the books, um, these are not about three juices a day, these are not about very low calorie, these are about healthy, sustainable weight loss. That may sound boring, um, it isn't. The food, though, is something which you can live on and you can enjoy and you can share, so you're not going to end up being a sort of social you know, nut when you, you know, you're there sipping on your juice, somebody else is trying to have dinner. You can share the food. It doesn't look anything weird. There are no weird ingredients. It's, you know, it's basic um, food, but just the balance is right. And you, and Maya Lloyd's talent as a nutritionist is to be able to structure the meals so that you end up losing weight because of the structure, not because she cuts your quantity of food to the, to the absolute minimum. That's not what she does. So um, the, the books have just come out they're 99p or 99 cents for America. They're off. They're um, on offer worldwide. So if you're not on Amazon.co.uk or Amazon.com, they'll be on the, your own Amazon um, uh, platform. If you just search Maya Lloyd, M-I-A-I -I Lloyd Weight Loss, they'll come up. Or as I said, the title of the books is Secrets and Recipes from a Weight Loss Clinic. So you can look at them that way. Um, but this video is particularly about Maya Lloyd's advice on breakfast. And when we were putting this book together, we had a lot of discussion, Maya and I, about what should be in the book um, and you know what her, her approach was. And I just thought I'd go through with you so you get a sense of what's going to be in the book, what she said about that. And I just got some notes from my discussions with her. So I'm just going to have a look at those and just talk to you about them. So the first point is, OK, her first point and her major point on breakfast is avoid processed carbohydrate. And by that, we mean clearly sugary cereals, number one. Maybe you don't realise this. Any shop-bought instant porridge is a no-no. It is highly processed carbohydrate. It is not healthy. It will shoot up your blood sugar. We'll come back to that in a minute because she gives some recipes for porridge which are, which are healthy. So if you love porridge, you can have it, but you need to make it yourself. Okay. Um, anything which is like a pastry or a biscuit or a muffin, um, even normal bread as toast, count as processed carbohydrates. So that you may end up thinking, well, what, you know, what have I got left to eat? Well... Um, you need to look at things that are natural and are slow release carbohydrates. So, as I said, in the book, and I'll give the links below this video, for the breakfast book that she's done, she gives you a whole series of recipes, first of all, for, for porridge. And she's quite clever because the recipes use what are called steel cut porridge. Steel cut porridge is unprocessed oats or minimally processed oats. It releases slowly, it will sustain you. It's got the unctuousness, the creaminess of shop bought porridge, but it's far, far better for you. I'm not just saying it's healthier, I'm saying it's it's less likely to hold on to weight. If you're looking to drop weight or stay lean, shop-bought porridge is a fast carb and it will particularly store around your um, waist. Steel-cut porridge cooked properly won't do that. It will sustain you and give you energy to train, energy to go on with your day. And in the book, um, she talks about how to make it. You can make it the night before. You can even um, portion it out so you've got seven portions ready for the week. And she also gives you some recipes for toppings because the other killer of shop-bought porridge is what you put on top of it. So when it says things like fruit compote, that just means sugary gloop as far as Maya Lloyd's concerned. So compote is out. She gives some recipes. So she does a banana crunch topping. She does a, a prune topping. She does a, um, a cinnamon apple topping. So these are, these are really nice recipes and you can have them guilt-free because they are really good at, at and giving you energy all morning and helping you drop weight. So have if porridge is your thing for breakfast, we're not saying no to it. What we are saying is you need to do just a bit of food prep yourself to eat for porridge that really will help you with your goal of losing weight. If you are a toast person, as I said in the intro here, most shop bought bread is a com is not a complex carbohydrate. It's highly processed. And in the book, there are some bread recipes. Some of them are very quick to make. Some of them take a little while. The thing with bread, I think, it's a bit like um, when you're downloading software. Because with bread, you come, you, it's, it's not a particularly intense process, but it's stop, start, stop, start. You know, if, if you're downloading software often, I certainly find, I download it, try and work out a bit of it, 
let it do something, walk away, go and do something else, come back, then do the next stage, then walk away, come back. It's the same with bread. You do it in stages over about two, two and a half hours. So if you're in the house anyway, it's a good thing to make. Now, for those of you who say absolutely not, not going to bake bread, you know, I haven't got the time for that. Then all you need to do is make sure that you go and buy proper bread from a health food store. Because proper bread from a health food store will be, as, as long as you get it so it's a consistency of a house brick, and I'm serious there, it will be a slow release carb, not a high release carb. And you want a slow release carb because that avoids shooting your blood sugar up. And it's blood sugar instability that contributes to weight gain and mood swings. So you want to avoid that. If you can get a good bread, either sh homemade or shop bought, then what do you put on top of it? Um, butter's not a great idea. Jam is definitely not a good idea. In the book, um, Maya suggests um, a concoction of of basically of avocado and cream cheese. So low fat cream cheese and avocado. You're getting all your healthy fats, um, getting some dairy. So it's a really, really good accompaniment to the bread. So um, there is, so as I said, there's a version of toast that you can use um, from this recipe book. The third sort of broad grouping of um, breakfast foods in the book are uh, eggs. So eggs are a superfood. We all know that if you body build, you'll, you'll be using eggs. You might want to be eating raw eggs. Um, and omelette is a fantastic way to start the day um, it's really quick so there's no reason why you can't um, do it before you go to work at, at, you know at worst case cook it the night before when you get up in the morning whack it in the microwave or even brown bag it and take it to work and whack it in the microwave at the office lots of offices now have uh, little kitchens with microwaves bring it with you and eat it there if you think if you feel a bit embarrassed you know why do you bring in you know something that looks different from everybody else then as I said, we do provide, and there are some uh, bread recipes, so you can always bring some toast with you, but make sure that you're not spreading it with butter. So um, so you, we've talked about porridge, we've talked about toast, we've talked about eggs. The, the last sort of group of things that are in the, the recipe book are, the, are homemade versions of classic sort of on-the-go energy things, so energy balls and energy bars. Um, uh, Shop-bought are okay, but they often have a lot of um, you know, f f uh, synthetic sugars in them or if they're, for example, health food shop, um, energy bars or um, uh, energy bars are often quite high in sugar and fruit sugar. So, for example, if you see things that are sweet with prunes um, or dates, that is going to be very high in sugar. And if you want to balance your weight or drop weight, then you need to keep your sugar under control. So better to make these. The energy balls, for example, are incredibly simple to make. You literally just mix them up, roll them into balls and refrigerate them. The energy bars are the same. You just mix it all up, put it into a tin and put it in the fridge and it's done. There's no cooking involved. So you can definitely make these. You can put them in the fridge on a Sunday night and they're ready for you all week. So I hope I've showed you that in terms of the recipes in this book, that nothing is complicated. Um, they're easy to make and you'll end up with a far better breakfast. One of the things that Maya says is, you know, in terms of the first meal of the day, if you can get that right, it tends to set the tone for the rest of the day. So if you can put a bit of investment of time into your breakfast, you'll find the rest of the day will flow. If, on the other hand, you make no investment in time and end up you know, at a petrol station um, or in a corner shop because you're starving at 10 o'clock, that you're never going to support your weight loss in that way. You're, you're never going to feel well. So invest a bit at the start of the day in terms of what you're eating and you'll find that you will drop weight and you will follow through because you'll feel that you've done the, you know, the first minute of the day has, has gone really well. Um, so that's all I want to say about breakfast. I'm going to do a separate video about um, lunch because there are two lunch books. One is brown bag lunches and one is lunches that you can cook if you're at home. Um, again, they're within her ethos, which is healthy food, nothing weird. Um, balancing your, your carbs, your proteins, and your fats to make sure that you drop weight, uh, but not extremely low calorie, sustainable weight loss. So um, have a look for that on the YouTube channel. With this video, give us a, um, a vote on it. Um, pass it to any friends who are looking to lose weight. Also let them see the, the links. If you are interested in losing weight, then have a look at the links. As I said, the books are only 99p, but they are you know, really fantastic value because of you know, where the information comes from. Uh, thank you so much for watching this. It's always a, um, a privilege for you to spend your time with me, and I will see you soon. Bye.